What's up, financial warriors? Jay here from Jay Get It, your go-to channel for decoding the intricacies of the financial world. Today, we're diving into a topic that's not just about laws and regulations. It's about your financial security within the European Union. If you're ready to explore the EU anti-money laundering directives and their impact, hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and let's get into it. Let's kick things off by exploring the roots of the EU anti-money laundering directives. Picture this, a response to evolving financial threats, historical financial scandals, and the realization that a united approach was needed within the EU. The journey toward their creation involved navigating challenges, legal considerations, and finding the delicate balance between security and individual liberties. Now, why do these directives exist? Their core objective is clear, to address the challenges of money laundering and terrorist financing. The emphasis is on enhancing cooperation among EU member states, fostering a united front against financial crimes. It's not just about regulations, it's about creating a robust framework that strengthens our collective ability to combat emerging threats. Let's get into the nitty-gritty. These directives are all about harmonizing AML, CFT regulations across EU member states. Harmonization isn't just a buzzword. It's about standardizing regulations to ensure consistency in combating money laundering and creating a unified front against financial crimes. And, of course, there's Customer Due Diligence CDD, procedures for customer identification and verification to strengthen our financial institution's ability to know their customers and mitigate risks. But here's the real deal. How do these directives impact you? They're not just bureaucratic rules, they're your shield. By protecting against the consequences of money laundering, they act as a shield for everyday citizens. These directives safeguard the integrity of the financial system, creating an environment where your financial transactions are transparent, accountable, and resistant to illicit activities. And it's not just about shields, it's about rights too. The directives enhance consumer protections, establishing rights and safeguards for financial services consumers. This contributes to fair and transparent practices in your financial transactions, giving you a voice and recourse in the face of potential financial misconduct. Now, here's the kicker. Why should you care? Because understanding these directives isn't just a matter for policymakers, it's about your financial well-being. They impact your transactions, your accounts, everything. Being aware of these implications empowers you to navigate the financial landscape effectively. Moreover, compliance with the AML, CFT regulations becomes your responsibility too. When you actively participate in upholding these regulations, you become an integral part of the broader strategy to maintain a secure financial environment. It's not just about rules, it's about your active involvement. Of course, no superhero is without challenges. The directives face hurdles in implementation. Variances across member states create a landscape where uniformity is a perpetual goal. Evaluating effectiveness and addressing emerging financial threats demand continuous adjustments. Critics voice concerns about potential encroachments on privacy rights, sparking a crucial dialogue about the balance between regulatory effectiveness and individual liberties. Critics raise valid points, and it's a conversation we need to have. The delicate balance between regulatory effectiveness and individual liberties is ongoing. It's a dialogue that challenges us to refine and adapt, ensuring that these directives evolve alongside the ever-changing landscape of financial threats. In conclusion, the EU anti-money laundering directives are not just regulations. They are threads that weave together the interests of nations and individuals in the grand tapestry of financial systems. They are beacons guiding us towards a future where financial security is a shared responsibility. Understanding and actively participating in their goals empowers you, the individual, to contribute to the ongoing story of financial security within the European Union. That's a wrap for today, financial warriors. 
If you found this video insightful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and let's keep the conversation going. I'm Jay from Jay Get It, where we don't just talk finance, we live it. Until next time, keep getting it.